Hi there, I'm Christina with It Is A Keeper and today I'm showing you how to make an ooey gooey crock pot buffalo chicken dip. This dip has it all going on. It's spicy, it's creamy, it's warm and cheesy and it is the perfect party food. This is one of the most popular recipes on It Is A Keeper and it's one of those recipes that I find myself making for every party because everyone is always asking for it. Honestly, I don't mind though because it's so easy to make. So let's dive in. Okay, so to start making our buffalo chicken dip, we're actually going to start on the stove top. So I have a pan here and to it we're going to add some prepared chicken. You can use either pre-cooked chicken or you can use the canned chicken. And I have the canned chicken, we're gonna use that. My pan is preheated, just adding that in. And to that we're going to add some buffalo sauce. Just your favorite hot wing sauce. I have a great recipe on It Is A Keeper if you wanted to make your own from scratch, or you can use it from a jar, whichever you prefer. And this recipe is great because you can make it either hot or mild. You could do garlic, which is one of my favorite chicken wings, or you could do barbecue too. That would be really good. Now to this, we're also going to add some ranch dressing. So just get all that. into the pot and we're just going to stir until it's all combined and we want to break up any big chunks of chicken. Okay, so once everything is combined, we are going to add some cream cheese to the mixture. So I have that here. It's already been softened and I kind of broke it up into chunks. It makes it easier to incorporate. And we're just going to stir that until it is completely combined. The cream cheese makes it nice and thick and just adds a nice uh, texture and flavor to the dip. My husband is not a cream cheese fan at all. I can barely sneak it past him, but in this recipe, I can. He doesn't even know it's in there. We're just going to stir until all that cream cheese is melted and it gets nice and creamy. Now if you're feeding a big crowd, you could easily double this recipe. It's super simple. Okay, the last thing we're going to add to our mixture is a little bit of shredded cheese. Now I have a Colby Jack here, but you could easily use Cheddar Jack or just plain cheddar whichever you prefer. I love the way Colby Jack melts though, so we're just going to stir that in. I'm gonna turn the heat way down on this. It's super hot. And we're just gonna get everything combined because it's gonna hang out in the slow cooker, so it'll continue to melt and, and uh, cook through in there. So we're just looking to combine everything and you can see how nice and stringy that Colby Jack gets. I just love it. Oh, that looks so good. Okay, so the next step is to transfer our buffalo dip goodness into a small crock pot. Um, I love this little mini guy. I use him for all of my parties. He always makes an appearance and it's really the perfect size for dip. So I will put a link for this product in the video description below and you can easily find it there. Now, if you're doubling this recipe, you're going to want to use a bigger slow cooker because you'll see this is going to fill this guy right up. Okay, so we have our buffalo chicken mixture and we are just going to pour it right in. Look at how stringy that cheese is. This is heavenly. So one thing we're going to do before we finish this up is we are going to top it with some more cheese. We're going to get that nice stringy layer right on top. Just put a nice even bit on there. We are going to cover the slow cooker with the lid, set it to low, and let it hang out until that cheese melts. Technically it is ready to go, so if you want to sneak a taste, you can. But I like to wait till that cheese melts so we can get a nice bit of cheese on there too. Our dip is done and it looks amazing. 
That cheese has melted nicely and I can't wait to dig into this, so I'm not going to. Look at how ooey, gooey, and cheesy that is. Let's taste this. Mmm. It is just the right amount of spice and the cheese and the tanginess from the ranch dressing. This dip is definitely a keeper. Thanks for watching. You can get the full instructions in the video description below. Make sure you like, follow, and subscribe so you don't miss a single thing. And check out the rest of my videos where you can find more of my favorite easy recipes and quick tips. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.